If you're a UX designer, you need to know about these five plugins that would make your life easier, your quality of work higher, and generally your designs so much better. Before starting, I wanted to let you know that you can easily go to Figma community, click on plugins and just see the 10 first plugins or 20 first plugins in there. They are actually real good plugins that you can use in your daily life, but these plugins are not in there. So I'm just going to give you a build of them all and how you can actually use them. So if you want to see the first 10 plugin you can just easily come to community right here come down click on all the resources change it to plugins and instead of trending just click on popular and here are the most used ones icon find unsplash material design icons and all of the stuff like this i am sure you've heard of a lot of them if you haven't heard of them you can just see it these are the obviously most used one latifies blush Blobs, Arc, HTML to Design, Mockup, Lorem Ipsum Content Reel. This one's really cool. I've mentioned some of this in my first video from before. These are really cool, but the ones that I'm going to tell you are a little bit more hard to find. The first plugin is noise and texture. So with this plugin, you can create any type of noise and any type of texture for your background pictures. Like if you're designing a landing page, if you're designing a special card or anything like that, this is your go-to plugin for it. You can easily find noise and texture by searching the name in the plugin section here or in your explore community section. As you can see, it has a lot of different types of noise, a lot of different types of gradients that you can use. For example, I'm just going to duplicate this page, delete the illustration that I put there and add this to the layer. So it's really cool and I love how you can create different types of shapes by just changing the speed, changing the scale, changing the opacity. It's really cool. The second plugin that I've been using really a lot these days is Attention Insight. So with this plugin, you can actually how, see how your design perform before you actually code them and like send them to the developers and then do the testings there. It actually shows you the heat map, the attention side and all of these. You can just click on the canvas and frame and it will give you a picture of the heat map and stuff like that. It's really useful if you're trying to test different types of designs for one concept. With attention inside, you can just easily choose the frame that you want to work with and click on analyze the design choose the type of screen that you have right here and then it will give you a heat map or attention inside from the apps that you're for example choosing we wanted to see which one of these cards were working the best so we created this to see which one should we choose and it's a really cool thing that you can play with the third one that i mentioned before is eight shape specs so with this one you can easily just choose any components any frame in your design and it will give Give you the exact specs of your design listed and it looks really good it's really helpful for a pixel perfect design you can check it yourself to like see if you've missed anything if your spacing is not according to your design system and then it's also super easy for your developers to work with eight shape specs is actually amazing because by using it obviously you can find it in the community by using it you can get a clean and beautiful map like this it will give you some information information overall but you have to just delete the ones that you don't need you can check your design see if it's perfectly spec and the spacings are nice and just use it for just checking your design or sharing it with your developer the fourth plugin is draw connector so there are a lot of different plugins that you can use to create flows with them within figma you no know, figma has it but like figma files don't have it so you can easily use this plugin to connect any object or any frame to another frame it's really customizable and well it's easier to use than the other ones that are already in the market right now this plugin you can easily use it to draw connects between two objects or two frames so i'm just gonna choose another layer which we with these and then you can just choose where you want the arrow to go where you want to start where you want to end i'm going to choose white so we can see it i think this looks really good you actually can create a spacing margins like something like this so it's really cool and easy for creating flows between your frames and the fifth one which is the last one is design lint so you can actually find and fix errors in your designs with this tool like it would check all of 
your types, all of your texts, see if there's any inconsistency there, check your corner radius, it sees if you have any inconsistencies there and basically it would make your life so much easier when you want to go through a final file and just see if you did everything right. This is a really cool product to just polish your design with it. So you can just click on it and open it. So with this one, you can just easily check out your spacing, if all of the layers are working well, if the radius values are right, if the borders are right, and all of the stuff like this. So you can just select the layer, run design lens, and just what do you want to do? It has missing stroke style, incorrect border radius, missing stroke style, like it will show you all the different things that might have went wrong. Let's just click radiuses. What are select all of them you see it will select them for you here okay these are the ones that i hit it it's it's really cool and you can just easily find if something's not up to spec in your design the text the color the stroke and effects which would be all the effects from here drop shadow inner shadow layer blur background blur all of this is really cool and that's it for this video if you haven't watched my previous video about plugins here it is or there i don't know there i actually tell you guys about a lot of more good plugins that you can use make sure you subscribe leave a like in the description tell me if you knew any of these plugins or if you know anyone that i didn't mention before in the previous video or in this video i'm always looking for plugins that would make my life like easier and i would love to see what you guys think is good so i'm gonna see you in the next video and bye